Monster Review? Okay. Hey guys, Carver from Team AFKK here again for another Monster Review! Yeah, sorry. Anyways, gonna try something a little different here. Uh, if you like it, please leave a comment below. If not, oh well, let's get to it! Monster Legend! Monster Review! Monster Legend! Review me now! Oh my god, I'm so late. Apocalypse in the Mall race is over, and Team AFKK takes the lead and finishes first. Our guild leader, Isamashi, also got first with the most points, so you will be seeing a video of her later revealing her chest. No, not that chest, you pervert. I'm talking about, you know, the chest in the, indi in the individual rewards, yeah. Anyways, question is, Scrap Warrior, is it good? Short answer, yes. Is it really good? Meh, it depends. Let me explain. The post-apocalyptic wastelands are ruled by Roxen and Nexor Cox. Lately, their greed has been out of control and they're taxing everyone in their territory. Scrap Warrior has had enough. Outfitted with armor made of junk, he's ready to fight the Cox brother and anyone who tries to take advantage of him. Okay, let's talk about his stats at level 100. His attack power is at 3,465, which is okay. Not the best, but not the worst. His life at 30,461, which I think is absolutely fantastic. And his speed, 3,432, which is okay. Once again, fast, but not the fastest. Overall, he would be set best as a backup denier and secondary damager at the same time. Um, with his high life, he would be able to take a hit which gives him time to give him a run for his moves, which I will explain next after this. But um, that is my reasoning and I will show you why. Let's look at his skills. What makes Crap Warrior more interesting is not his stats because we all know he's not the fastest, he's not the most powerful, but his skills are the most interesting in my opinion. Now, let's go through it. I'm gonna skip all the ones I didn't use and just tell you why I chose the powers in his current set right now. Moonshine Bottle. This lies in, I believe, the skill group 2. Um, you want this one. Besides getting an extra turn, it also buffs your character as a mechanical hater. This is a great power for Team Wars, which, let's say, restricts you to the element of metal. Uh, as this guy gives 100% damage buff to mech monsters, he could pretty much one-shot any mechanical man- well, weaker mechanical monsters. I would follow this up with Massive Smokescreen. Now, this power is amazing. It gives Total blind, yes, that means it could bypass the naturally blind resistant monsters with total blindness. 100% miss, so it's pretty much like uh, total deny power. Homebrewed nuclear device. Now this is your main damage skill. It's um, 70 power, 95% accuracy. Uh, this is a powerful, powerful skill uh, that will help assist the other damage dealer, maybe even clear off a monster for you. And lastly is saber throwing. The lightsaber, he, he throws it like a Jedi. No, I'm just kidding. As you can see, I apologize for it getting smaller. I did not plan ahead. But anyways, this is a great AoE attack with decent power damage at 40 accuracy. It's the same as usual. And it applies bleeding, which is awesome. You like bleeding. Not the... Yeah, but bleeding. It bleeds, you know? That was awkward. And so my Scrap Warrior is complete. We shall see it in action now. Now just a minute, let me explain one thing to you. Currently right now, Scrap Warrior has a 20% buff on all his stats for like, I don't know, another 20 days. Uh, so um, even though he looks kind of awesome now, please remind yourself in your head like maybe, oh, this is probably what he's available or what he's like, uh, you know, at level 130. I'm just rambling, but remember, I'm playing him now, which currently has a 20% buff. So he may seem really, really awesome and powerful, and you're probably like, Cobra, what are you thinking? His power is awesome. He's really fast. No, it's just because, you know, the buff. Anyways, moving on. Let's do it.